some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York City with Brooklyn Audits as he once again proves that frauditors do film their own crimes. No matter how much they protest to the contrary, they certainly do. And in this case, it is no different because he ended up stealing an orange and got arrested for it. So let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. I want an orange, actually. Oh, orange. It's good. Yeah. Fuck out of here. It's my fucking neighborhood. I'll take whatever I want. Oh, brilliant move, doofus. You rarely film your crimes on live stream. I always knew you weren't that bright. But come on now. An orange... Of all the things you could have gotten arrested for, you nitwit, and Orange was one of them. Well, good going, Orange Doofus. Now you remember me, huh? What happened? You don't remember me still? Ah, Spider don't remember me. Let's go remind his brain cells. I tell you something, you're a real genius, Orange Doofus. You stole that orange with the uh, owner of the fruit stand coming behind you, and you go to audit a police station. Yeah... That's uh, something else, all right. Very comical and very genius. You would make a great comedian if you weren't such a dumbass. Yeah, we'll turn the alarm on. Beep, beep. Somebody, Spider, they don't remember me? Spider don't remember me. All right, so check it out. If you're in, in the Bensonhurst area, we have on the covers drive in. Look at this. F C L check but yo look at this shit Hey hey Octagon that's allegedly 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 you understand the orange accidentally fell off the cot it fell onto the floor and I picked the orange up. Oh really? You say that after filming your own crime. I swear boys and girls, you just can't make this stuff up. Who stole an orange? It fell off the floor. It fell off the cut. I want an orange, actually. A oh, fucking orange. It's good. We're gonna run your name. We, we want to see how your record is. Cause somebody run 1091, detective from the six two. You got all these people standing in the lobby. Yo, they, why not put them in like a private room? Oh, why are you walking away? <laughs> yeah, leave, yeah, yeah, run away. One time, right, a couple months ago, I came inside, I made a complaint, I want to complain for him. Shamanti and uh, Martin. Oh yeah, we got backup coming now, uh-oh, let's find out. So, Captain Martin and Shamente, you know Officer Shamente, right? You don't know him? Are you gonna ignore me? If you're gonna ignore me, I'll just, I'll leave. Yes, I know Shamente. You know Shamente, you know Lieutenant Martin, maybe? I don't think he's a captain, I'm sorry. Lieutenant Martin, black male, right? Drives a, what, what is he driving, Ultima? He parks on this side over here. You know, you know, you know Martin, okay, all right. So, why would they arrest me for hanging out on a public sidewalk? All right, case was dismissed, okay. And now you realize you guys don't have qualified immunity. So who you guys think you are to arrest a, a, a person on a, on a public sidewalk exercising their First Amendment, right? Would you arrest me if I'm, ha look, I'm hanging out right now, right? You're not, you're not gonna do nothing, right? Exactly, I'm exercising my First Amendment. I came in here, I wanted to complain for him. I'm gonna film for my own protection because obviously I, I got ganged up. Now. They put me in handcuffs, they put me in a back cell, like, like a filthy animal, right? For what reason? Trespassing? 
in public? Come on, bro. Come on. So what, what do you think about that? What's your comments on that? It wasn't there. You, you, so you're not going to comment? You, you don't think that was wrong? You think that was right? Case was dismissed anyway. So trust me. Shemente and mine, I'm, I'm going after them. Trust me, I am. Because you guys don't got qualified immunity. We're allowed to sue you personally. You, they unlawfully arrested me for no reason. So what do you think about that? You, you have no comment on that? So why'd you call me back for? What was the point of calling me back? You say, yo! You, so who are you yelling to? Come on. You weren't anything yelling else? towards me? Anything else? Come on, Anthony. You weren't yelling towards me? No. no? Do you All want right. to continue? Just wait, wait. All right. You can go back to work. You're dismissed, then. No problem. Yeah, you go back to work. Are dismissed. Right? I'm fine. I'm, I'm I'm Gucci. What do you mean am I all right? Are you all right? Is he all right? He's coming in hot right now. Is he all right? Yeah, I'm all right. You guys are all right? <laughs> We're all right. Everyone's all right. Well, here come the cut officers now to take him away for his stupidity. But let me give you my little opinion on this. I think that he has gotten it went way over his head over this time that he's been on YouTube. And he's been getting away with a lot of stuff, making him feel like he can do anything he wants. Exactly like he said earlier, that it was his neighborhood and he could take whatever he wanted. And that's exactly his mentality now, that anything he sees is fair game. And I've known a couple thieves in my day, and their general attitudes are pretty much, well, if it's out there in my visual range, it's fair game. Yeah, hey, everybody's all right. Put your phone yeah. down. Put your hands up. Why? Well, well, for Put what? Your hands Why? Why? Why am I getting arrested for? For what? You're stolen an orange from the store. The press charge. Get the. I want an orange, actually. No, you orange doofus. You didn't pick it up off the ground. You took it off the stand itself. You were stupid enough to film your own crimes. In the words of some other frauditor, do better. Yes, sir. They press and charge. Are you guys. stupid? Yeah. Orange. Yes. You guys are a joke. You know that? See what I'm saying? You guys like to violate my rights. Every right. single time, bro. Every single time. This is a joke. This is a joke, bro, for an orange that I walked by, that I know the guy, and it fell on the floor, and I picked it up. I want an orange, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are funny, man. You know why? You got to grudge out for me, because you know why? Martin and fucking what's-his-name wants to violate my rights. You guys do it. You do it to me all the time. And we were just having a conversation, and look what he says. Look what he does. Can you grab my scooter though? Yeah, scooter's yeah grab please. Him. Yeah, don't. Have him grab it. Grab you can't. Yeah, you can't scooter leave scooter my scooter out, out there. Yeah. Come on, bro. Don't don't do that. Don't leave my scooter out there. That's not right. Well, now they're going to take that scooter to the impound lot with them, and it's going to cost you a great deal more than a dollar to get it out. So lesson here: Don't be this damn stupid. Don't be the orange doofus. Don't leave the scooter out there. That's not even cool, bro. That's that's so funny, but you can't leave it out there. Seriously, you're, you're leaving it. You're leaving it outside, bro. You're, you're not, come on, you're leaving it outside right now. Stop pulling me. All right, can you stop pulling me? I'm in the precinct. Where am I going, bro? Where am I going? Like... Of course you know where you're going. You're going directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. And certainly... Uh, you're going to go to the impound lot whenever you get out and pay uh, definitely pay a lot more than that orange was worth overall. And including lawyer fees or whatever you have to do, that is going to be one expensive orange, you orange buffoon. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Oh, orange. It's good. Yeah. Fuck out of here. It's my fucking neighborhood. I'll take whatever I want. You are so lame. I'm not lame. Yes. Yes, you are. Please, Mom, please don't do that. Don't be mean to me. I'm not being mean to you. You're just too lame to see it. You don't know what I can do or what I'm going to do. Or you don't know. You don't know what I'm going to be. You don't know how good I have good things and you don't know it. And I'm going to be somebody and don't tell me I'm not.